welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. I was walking around my local Toys R Us last week, just looking for any type of collectibles that I might want to get, and I just so happened to see that they have the new Nin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures out, based on the new Nickelodeon cartoon coming out. So I haven't actually seen the cartoon, but I wanted to take a look at the figures. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy and see if he's worth buying. Alright, so here we have the new Raphael from the Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV series. I'm not going to go too much into the character because any old school fan really should know who this is. Plus the fact that the show's going to be coming out soon. New new fans are going to be introduced to this character as as the show goes on. So I suggest actually watching the show to see if you like it. I will say that he is the more hot-headed and aggressive member of the th four Turtle Brothers, hence why he's red and has that snarl on his face that you can see. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the box. Um, you can see Raphael's actually kind of displayed out in more of a menacing or aggressive pose, and, well, that's how he was displayed compared to some of the other figures I saw at Toys R Us, but I decided to pick up Raphael because um, I might have some customizing plans for him later, but he seemed to be the cooler figure to get out of the, the bunch that, well, that I wanted. Um, you have the Nickelodeon's uh, logo up here, uh, along with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box art. Um, uh, the box art, compared to, to the old um, Ninja Turtles line, is a little bit not, I don't know, it's not as great as the old line. I actually like the old line where it had the, look like the sewer background, and it looked like they were actually busting through the bricks, and you had the different artwork on there. Those, those, well, those were back in the good old days. Um, but it does actually stand out, and you get this nice green and purple lo logo, so it makes it look like the show's going to be a little, uh, it might be interesting. You have some nice uh, uh, artwork uh, of the CG turtles that are going to be uh, coming out on the show. Um, now, I've heard some people complain about the style of the show. It looks a little bit simplistic, and... Uh, I don't know. I, I've seen some clips of it. It might it might still actually be pretty good. There's um there's something to say for the 3D animation that you can maybe uh they don't constantly have to draw things. So once the figures are built, they're built. Um, you could pretty much do a lot. However, a lot of people have said that, or from what I've heard, people have been complaining about Donatello being the thinnest and kind of well. I guess that might fit if he looks like a little bit being thin, kind of a wimpy or nerdish, nerdyish, geekish kind of on person being the tech guy um that might actually be why he's often displayed in the background most of the time in um the characters but then um i haven't seen i haven't looked at the show too too much or seen too many clips so i but from what i've seen he doesn't look that thin in the in the show so it might just be something from the box art and stuff um now the back of the box um you can actually see the i'll give you the little info right here about Raphael. you can pause this and read it if you want but um that but the back of the arcs are, you can kind of see the nice purple city line in here, giving it, reminding them that they are in New York. Um, and you have one of the old, uh, I should try to slow down. It's kind of like one of the old fashioned uh, box things, where you, uh, toys where you can cut out the little info card on them. Uh, however, this is in kind of a wedge shape. I would have liked it more if it was uh, kind of square, because just that makes it a little bit easier to stack if you do cut these out. I, however, saved the entire box back, just that's because that's how I am. I don't actually like cutting them out. Um, you get a display of the other turtles here. Now, I was not able to find Leonardo, actually, on the uh, at Toys R Us, so I don't know if he might be hard to find or he just wasn't there. Um, you see Don, Raphael, Michelangelo. They're all pretty neat. Um, nice to see that they also still have the different color variations of the, of the four brothers, much like in the original show. Um, April, I did actually see down at the comic convention, uh, San Diego Comic Con, and uh, she, her body, she, her body uh, structure and um, her articulation looks pretty good. You can't really tell from the from the box art here, but yeah, her legs can kind of go in that 360 degree, uh, or not 360, but it's well jointed in the arms and legs. The only problem issue I would have is with her face and just her head. It just kind of looks a little weird to me went close up. I might have some pictures and talk about that later, but uh, that was the only issue I have with April, uh, but who knows, that might just be because her head might just be shaped this certain odd way because of the show, and we'll have to see if she grows on us as a character. Uh, I was able to see Splinter down there. Um, he is kind. Of, he's kind of going to be an interesting character. I've seen so many different variations from the Splinter based on the movies, the old cartoon, and the 90s cartoon. This one seems to have more of a black and white face and uh, is a darker rat. Uh, gives it more of a Asian or Japanese feel or something to him, so it's, uh, I thought that's actually pretty neat to have that that those contrasts in the colors or just the harsh black and white on his face, like he has a kind of a kabuki face. But uh, the 
the robe that he has on him looks like it might be from a soft plastic. I had to look at him through the box, but he might his articulation might be kind of limited from just the robe that he has on on him. Uh, he never did actually much action in the show, but you never, you never know. It's always nice to have him be able to sit on some of the vehicles. Uh, I didn't see any of the foot soldiers down there. Um, my guess is that they're going to be the hardest ones to find, just like in the past and anything else. The foot soldiers are always going to be the one that's probably going to be the least made and just everyone's going to want them. So if you, anyone finds a foot soldier, I would say snag them up. Now we also have Shredder over here and I saw Shredder at the same booth I saw Splinter at. And uh, he actually looks really badass in my opinion. I'm um, actually one of the best Shredders I've ever seen uh, so far, um, action figure wise. But uh, I definitely want him, so he's definitely going to be a buy for me when I see him on the toy stores. Now, some people who might be complaining, some of the older fans who might be complaining, I will say that I was surprised on the back of the box art that they have Krang. So he's actually going to be in the show, so that's that's kind of a, a point in my book for the show. So um, uh, Now, he doesn't have his yellow body, and he, I was actually able to see him at the same booth with Shredder and, and uh, April and the other turtles. Uh, but he has one of more of the Utrom-ish bodies from the 90s car cartoon. So he does have a body that he's going to walk around in, but it's not the old-fashioned big body from the from the 80s cartoon. But still, nonetheless, he's going to be in it. And it's going to be interesting to see how uh, he fits into the show, whether he's teamed up with Shredder again or not. Uh, that's open to a ba debate right now. But still, it's kind of neat to have the old Krang back in there. Now, let's now without further ado, let's kind of open this guy up and see what we're going to deal with. Okay, so here we have Raphael, and actually let me say that I'm um, just playing with this little guy for a little bit right now before reviewing him. Um, he's actually pretty well, pretty, pretty great. Um, I would have to say that uh, with the original Ninja Turtles, they were always stuck in these kind of stagnant poses. The feet were always in one up or fully down, and you had somewhat limited articulation in the arms and legs. Uh, like maybe just the wrist would swivel and the shoulders would swivel and maybe one wrist and one elbow over here would swivel and that was about it but back that was expected for back then but with the level of articulation nowadays it's nice it's nice to see that you can have this really nice range of ability with uh, the ninja turtles um i actually wouldn't be surprised if these show up on robot chicken with how movable they are uh just just these are really it's kind of really nice articulation uh, you got a nice ball swivel head up here um now the range of movement is somewhat limited just mostly because you have the shell back here that's going to uh keep it from uh looking all the all the way up but i guess you could actually also pop the heads off too if you really wanted to and work on do anything else with that uh the bandanas are kind of always out here as if they're in the windswept position but that's okay uh the sculpts on these are actually great um i'll get into that in a little bit but uh, you have your nice uh, elbow swivel here that can kind of go in all sorts of directions, so that's neat. You can get the have them really getting up for that back up attack position. Um, you have a nice similar swivel right here, so you can bend it, bend the elbow this way or that way, and then also swivel it around, so you get any articulation you want. And then I was surprised to actually have a wrist articulation here, so that, that's a lot more articulation. I, I, I know I'm saying a lot, but that's a lot more than what I was actually expecting. I didn't even notice that from the box art. Um, Leg-wise, um, you got kind of the same thing. Uh, now these are a little bit more limited because of the sh likewise because of the shell, but still, it's a lot better than what we had in the past. Um, and then you got a knee joint right here, so that's uh, that swivels exactly the same. You can get these guys in probably some really good poses if you wanted to, um, and actually make them all look kind of different. Um, the belt, now as far as the shell goes, the front shell is a little bit of a soft plastic. Uh, there's not too much give to it, uh, but it is kind of nice. You can kind of kind of move it around up here on the sides, but the center is pretty tough. Um, the back of the shell is kind of really hard. Um, not much give to that or anything else. Um, the belt now, the belt doesn't come off like in the old Turtles. This one side does kind of come off, but it's glued in right here. Um, and there's no logos on the front, which was kind of a neat gimmick. You remember which turtle was which by the little uh, r or l or m or d on their on their belt buckles but they they don't have that now in the new line um but i would say that it's kind of neat that the i, I would i'm actually kind of happy that the belts are still are going to stay on the characters only because in the past it was so easy to lose them once you took them off and kind of hard to get them back on um now some people might actually be complaining that the about the feet that they have actually three toes 
instead of just the two. Um, I personally don't really care. I actually kind of like the three toes. Um, it makes more sense to me because they have the two fingers and a thumb. It would make sense that they would have the, th the big toe and the two little fingers. And plus, um, as a guy who actually owns two pet turtles, it's, yeah, they're, they do have a lot more toes on their feet from anyone who might not be sure. Um, sculpting wise, it's, re it's really actually really good. Um, a lot of neat little detail. I don't know if you can get in here, but there's like little, uh, little bits of skin texture in here. It's, it's actually really well done. Um, not just the cracks in here and the painting on the shell and the wrinkles in the, in the, uh, mask, but yeah, I'm actually surprised on actually all the skin details. Um, I actually, down at Comic-Con, I had a chance to talk to the, one of the guys who actually produced the prototypes, uh, of these figures and I think he was the one who actually sculpted them and he was uh, I was able to shake his hand and these guys were actually made in ZBrush in a 3D program and then printed out with a 3D printer first for the prototype so I was able to see some of the prototypes down there just from the guys booth uh, it's located here in California and he was very nice he was very appreciated that I was able to give him uh, my feedback on what I liked as from the Ninja Turtles when I was a kid and he was just hoping that people really like him pick him up um, if the show doesn't go anywhere, um, I would at least still say pick, someone should pick up uh, each one of these figure, each one of the turtle figures, because they're just such a nice figure. Um, now you come with the, the, he comes with the three, the three bladed size, and I will say that it's a little bit kind of tough to get them in and out of his hands at first. It seemed to be getting a little bit better. Uh, the plastic is hard, but it's not but you can feel a little bit of rubbery give to it um i would say that's a good thing because then it's like you, you he's definitely going to get a good grip on it but it's not going to be a hard plastic to where i don't think the hands are going to wear out over time and and he'll always and, and you won't get those stretch marks in here um now he does actually have also these at first i didn't think he was going to be able to hold them but you can still put the size in the back of of his belt just like in the past. Um, I guess this is a more recent thing where he keeps his weapons on the back and just reaches back and pulls them out. The original Raph always kept them in the front which was always kind of hard to position put them actually in his little in the holsters in the front on the first on the old Raph but uh, the back is actually good I can live with that it actually makes me really want um, the other guys now I might have to run out to Toys R Us today and buy them just just because I want them so badly. Um, now it's also neat to have them come with another weapons, uh, just like in the old days, a little uh, pop-out section of with all the other weapons. Um, it's not going to be a weapon stand like in the old days, but you know, we we get what we can. Um, you have these little individual slice. Uh, what the heck? I'm going to pull one off right now. Uh, that you can stick in his hand. And you could probably also put them back. So it's also nice to see these guys are loaded down with weapons again. Um, you get some nice little ninja stars here. I don't know if I'm going to take these off or leave them on just because they look like they can get lost pretty easily. And then you have these two swords here. Now, Raph's never been one to use anything but his three prong size. Mikey's the one who actually would use other weapons like the got lazy in one of the seasons and just used the grappling hook all the time. But um, this is the... But it's still nice to have them with these variations of weapons, so it's kind of remind me of the old days. Um, I definitely say that this guy is a really, that these guys look really good, and I think I'm going to be hooked on uh, collecting the four turtles again, along with Shredder and a few of the other guys. Um, and I was originally going to try to customize this guy into maybe Slash, but just how much I like this guy now, I, I might just leave him how he is and try to find another one. Well, um, that's it. Um, I would definitely, this is a look been at the new Nickelodeon's Ninja Turtles Raft. So um, if you guys liked what you've seen so far, um, I'd definitely say go to your local Toys R Us and hunt them down. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen today, please feel free to subscribe or leave a comment below in the comment section. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.